the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel to the prayer to St. Joseph. O glorious Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, to you do we raise our hearts and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the benign heart of Jesus all the helps and graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and special favor we now implore. Silently mention your petition. O guardian of the word incarnate, we feel animated with confidence that your prayers in our behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name, hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. O glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, and charitable mind, and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, father, and model through life, that I may merit to die as thou didst, in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is the memorial of St. Andrew Dungla, priest and companion, martyr. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Joaquim Mascarenhas. Please all rise to welcome our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we have come before the Lord to take part in this Holy Mass. Some of us to express our gratitude to God, express our love, some of us to pray for ourselves, some of us to pray for our loved ones. Let us keep all these intentions in mind as we take part in this Holy Mass and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in, and in my, my words, words, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs Saint Andrew Dunglak and his companions faithful to the cross of your son, even to the shedding of their blood grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was a white cloud, and sitting on the cloud, one who looked like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, crying out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap the harvest, for the time to reap has come, because the earth's harvest is fully ripe. So the one who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, who also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel came from the altar, who was in charge of the fire, and cried out in a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle and cut the clusters from the earth's vines, for its grapes are ripe. 
So the angel swung his sickle over the earth and cut the earth's vintage. He threw it into the great winepress of God's fury. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the people with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please arise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when they will not be left. A stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. Then they asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nations will rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place. And awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Captain Ken, by just switching on the button, can close all the doors of the vessel. In a way, the ship itself is unsinkable. This was said about Titanic, the ship that was built in the beginning of 19th century. But we know the very same ship met with a watery grave and over 1,000 people died. What is it that we can boast in life? In today's gospel, Jesus makes a prophecy about the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem. The temple of Jerusalem was the pride of the Jews. It was so magnificent that one rabbi said, if you have not gazed at the temple of Jerusalem, you do not know the perfection of beauty. But we know the temple of Jerusalem was later destroyed. And it was not so easy for Jesus to make a prophecy about a temple that everyone boasts about. 
it was very risky for his life but we know the destiny of what happened reflecting on our own lives what is it that we can boast in life what really remains that we can say is eternal and permanent in our lives is it our looks that we can boast some of us boast so much on our looks and we undermine others our status is it our bank balances or is it our achievements or is it by knowledge what am i boasting in life nothing is going to be permanent only one thing is permanent is jesus christ and this is the gift that we get on the day of our baptism a relationship with jesus christ that is permanent who could ever think that the titanic would sink who could ever think that the twin towers would turn into rubble who could ever think that the british empire where the sun never sets would wane when we build our structures without keeping god in mind one day they will collapse we know in the old testament the tower of babel they wanted to reach high up in the sky in heaven they kept god outside whatever we do we need to integrate our spirituality even when we study we need to give time to god we cannot keep god outside the plane when we work for our ambitions god good works this should simultaneously be accompanying us as we build our structures and edifices and our successes and this is a reminder for us once again brothers and sisters not to be giving up or being hopeless but to know and differentiate between what is lasting what is permanent and what is temporary so let us not boast on things that are material let us humbly accept the gifts that i have got that god has given me if i am experiencing more blessings show concern and consideration towards who is less fortunate being boasting boastful being proud doesn't help and god doesn't like it let us come before the lord in all humility accepting everything as coming from god and let us know that jesus is the one that will remain with us forever amen please rise coming together as god's people we confidently bring our needs before the father confident that he will grant our request our response father we hope in you father we hope in you that our pastors may totally dedicate their lives in preaching the gospel by their witness of life let us pray to the lord father we hope in you that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you that we may try our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. Let us pray for those who have requested our prayers and to those whom we have promised those who celebrate their birthdays, anniversaries, 
those who are sick at home and in the hospitals, those who are grieving, mourning the loss of their loved ones, and especially people affected by the typhoons. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ang alay na ito, mga biyayang nagmula sa pagpapala mo. Tanda ng bawat pusong pagkatinibig mo, ngayon nananalig, nagmamahal sa iyo. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, Andrew Dunglak, priest and companions, so that amid the trials of this life, we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of the blessed martyrs, Andrew Dunglak and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and brotherico our apostolic administrator and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god on my dear father In the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, "Peace I leave you; my peace I give you." Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us joyfully share with one another the peace of christ peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I'm only human I'm just a man Help me believe In what I could be And all that I am Show me in the stairway I have to climb Lord for my sake teach me to take one day at a time one day at a time sweet Jesus that's all I'm asking from you just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do Yesterday is gone Sweet Jesus And tomorrow May never be mine Lord help me today Show me the way One day at a time Do you remember when you walked among men? Lord Jesus, you know, if you're looking below, it's worse now than then. Cheating and stealing, violence and crime. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do Yesterday is gone sweet Jesus and tomorrow may never be mine Lord help me today show me the way one day at a time Please rise. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs, Andrew Dunglak, priest and companions, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Orasu Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. 
Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. Prayer for the departed souls. May the souls of all the faithful departed, especially those whom we promise to pray, and those who need our prayers, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, never shall be, word without end. Amen. Kindly rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 